but right then, hi guys. Sorry, I've just been eating a crisp. Um, I'm so hungry all the time at the moment. What's wrong with me? I'm doing this holding it because I don't want it to turn into a long video, and if I put it in a stand, it will. So I went to the opticians um, and had my ocular pressure checked. And um, in 2012, my right eye was 14. Um, my left eye was 13. 2016, right, 14, left, 13. 2023, I didn't realise it had been that long since I'd been, oopsie. Um, right eye, 12, left eye, 12. So if anything, my ocular pressure has dropped. So um, now it's difficult to say for me though, because um, they're talking about CBD raising ocular pressure. Obviously I use whole plants. Um, now my mum, she just uses CBD and I'm nagging and nagging and nagging at her to get to the optician and get hers checked um, to find out if, um, oh, that arm's aching, to find out basically if, um, it's the stripping apart of the plant that causes the issues because cannabis modulates, it regulates, it it regulates everything in your body. And um, we all know that sugarcane is healthy. It's, well, it's not bad for you, sugarcane. It's once you strip it apart, it becomes really, really bad for you. Same as orange juice, fresh orange juice with pulp, good for you. We want you to take away the pulp. My dad had a problem in Spain with really, really high sugar levels. Yeah, because of drinking pulp plus juice. So every plant is better in its whole form. Um, full plants, that's the point. That's why they're like they are. That's that's just what it is. So um, I'd be very interested if anybody else has got any slight research out there about um, if they're on just CBD, THC, um, and what exactly their ocular pressure are. Um, and... If they think I'm right, that the fact that because I take the combination of cannabinoids that mine is, I'm assuming it's all right. I mean, dropped a little bit. They said that my eyes sat fine, don't need glasses. Would you believe in 2016, I needed a prescription? I don't this year. Now, 2016, I was on pharmaceuticals still. And 2018 came off them, used more cannabis. I was on CBD a little bit from about 2015, I think. I'm not sure, but... Maybe 20, definitely 2016, 2017 though. Um, so it's interesting that I don't need a prescription. It, it was only a mild prescription that I would have needed. But this time I said, no, you don't need a prescription. Eyesight's fine. Just usual wear and tear. No problems, no issues. So yeah, that's interesting. So if you're using whole plants and a lot of CBD, I don't think... And I say think because it's just me hazarding guesses and thinking and anecdotal. Um, but it hasn't caused a problem with me. Um, let's wait and see if I can nag up my mum and get some results out of her. And find out just what happens when you strip the plants apart. Apart from THC damaging your bones, if you have it on its own, you need the CBD to boost the bones. Um, so yeah, it's all very interesting, isn't it? So, yeah, time to nag at the old mother, get her eyes checked on just CBD and see if her ocular pressure is the same, increased, decreased or what. Anyways, right, I'm going to go, guys, because I don't know why, but I am so, so tired. I slept over 10 hours last night and I still feel tired. I could, go, I could go to bed, but as soon as I go to bed to try and put my head down, my brain wakes up. And when my brain wakes up, I start to get anxious and that's when my body starts to wake up. At the moment, I'm quite comfy and relaxed. I've got a bit of a tight spot there but that's about it um i'm just gonna have to try and work out on a way of relaxing my body without trying to fall asleep because last night i went to bed just to warm up to and i fell asleep so i don't know i might just go and meditate for a bit but um, anyways i shall catch you later guys and that's the update from the opticians my eyes are fine <laughs> bye guys